So this is Harry Potter, the guy with a fire in 240 seconds, aka 4 minutes. And here's some background on the Triwizard Tournament, which we're going to be like mainly focused on during this segment. And so the Triwizard Tournament is where uh, three different competitors from three different schools, they get together and they kind of compete, you know, and see who survives. And then the one who does the best gets eternal glory and he wins. And then he gets a huge sum of money, or she too, you know, they can be a women competitor too. And so we're going to start off with the choosing scene. Um, and so everyone, like all of the students are just sitting down at the tables, you know, they're kind of chatting. And then the three competitors are cho chosen, you know, Victor Crumb and then Fleur Delacour and Cedric Dickery. Everyone's like, yay! And then, you know, Harry's name pops out and Dumbledore is like, Harry, did you pull your name in the Goblet of Fire? Harry, did you pull your name in the Goblet of Fire? Harry, I'm kind of freaking out right now. I don't know what's going to happen. And four names have never had kinda gone out before. And I don't know what's gonna, going on. Everyone's staring at me, kind of glaring at me. They're glaring at you, too. And I don't know what's going on. And then, so Harry is the fourth competitor for the Triwizard Tournament. And that's never happened before. And then so the first uh, trial is the dragon trial. And so um, they kind of have to find the dragon to get the egg away from the dragon, you know, and kind of risk getting blown into bits and like burned and stuff and dying. And so of course Harry wins, you know, because he's Harry Potter. Um, Yule Ball is basically, you know, the wizard prom. And so... Uh, Ron is like, hey, Hermione, will you go with me in my last as my last resort? Kind of, and Hermione is like, what? No, I don't want to be your last resort, Ron. I'm going with someone else. And Ron's like, who? And Hermione's like, I'm not going to tell you, Ron. You should care about me more. And then, so Hermione shows up and she's like, surprise, y'all. It's Victor Crumb, the hottest man alive from Russia. And so they kind of have fun in Wizard Prom. And then, so the second child comes up and it's with the mermaids and stuff. So that I like... Harry, he um, eats some gillyweed, which gives him uh, gills, so he eats that, and then he goes underwater, and like he's like, oh crap, I'm gonna die, I can't breathe, and he's like, surprise, I have gills, I can swim, and so he um, goes past the mermaids, and then he saves his friend Ron, and then he also saves uh, Fleur's uh, person, which is her younger sister, because, you know, Fleur can't do it, because she got, like, captured along the way, and stuff, and so he ties for first, again, because, you know, he's Harry Potter, and then... So the third and final trial is the Triwizard Tournament, uh, the maze trial. And so um, there's this huge maze and stuff, and so um, he gets really close to the end, and he sees Cedric, and he's like, hey, let's team up, you know, and, like, get this thing. And so they see the trophy, and they're like, hey, let's both try and do this at the same time so we can both win, you know. But surprise, it's a port key, and they go to this graveyard, and there's this huge cauldron, and there's smoke coming out of it, and it's, like, totally not ominous at all totally does not look like someone's gonna die and then so Voldemort comes out and he's like surprise Voldemort is alive for the what is this the fourth movie the fourth time um and then Harry's like oh crap it's Voldemort and then so he um Voldemort ties him up to like a kind of like a stone and he's like ah can't touch you now then he just goes he reaches his hands out touches for a sec boop I have touched Harry Potter, the chosen one, you know, and then they have a battle, you know, and then it's like they, um, did, and then like Harry's parents come back, back from the dead and they kind of distract him. So, you know, after Voldemort kills Cedric, um, Harry brings Cedric's body back to Hogwarts and he's really crying because, you know, Cedric is like his best friend. Well, not his best friend, but his friend is dead. Oh my gosh, Cedric is dead. I don't know what to do now. And then they have to pull him away from his body. And, you know, that's kind of how it ends. Voldemort is alive. And this has been Harry Potter in the Goblet of Fire. Snipe. Snipe. Savarus Snipe. Dumbledore. Snipe. Snipe. Savarus Snipe. Dumbledore. Snipe. Snipe. Savarus Snipe. Dumbledore. Snipe. Ron. Snipe. Ron. Savarus Ron. Snipe. Dumbledore. Snipe. Ron. Snipe. Ron. Savarus Snipe. Snipe. Hermione. Savarus Snipe. Snipe. Hermione. Savarus Snipe. Harry Potter. 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 That's me. Voldemort, Voldemort, ooh, Voldy, 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 Voldemort. Yay! And then, you know, Harry's name pops out and like, <laughs> I got it! <laughs>